This is racial profiling. Um, there's no question this is racial profiling. Uh, when U.S. citizens are treated differently based on their ethnic or national uh, origin, I don't know what else you would call it. Lieutenant Governor Cyrus Habib calls the reports of Iranian Americans being held at the Washington-Canada border personal. I have a, a name that is uh, Iranian. It's a Persian name. Um, I, I look uh, Middle Eastern, um, and I'm Iranian American. Um, and so uh, this happened to people whose identities um, and uh, biographies are, are very similar to mine. Um, and so I know firsthand how it can make people feel like second class Americans. Some of those Americans detained a mother and her two children, the uh, lieutenant governor sure knows personally. She went out and was crying so in a place where her kids couldn't see just because it was so um, dehumanizing to have her own government treating her like a foreigner. And that's what bothers him most. The people held for questioning are American citizens. We never want to be a country. Uh, we cannot be a country constitutionally or morally where citizens are treated differently, uh, whether because of the, because they're African American, Jewish, Iranian American, you name it. So moving forward, I asked the lieutenant, how should border security be handled? Well, we absolutely should increase security, but if we're going to increase security, then we need to do it in a way that is fair and fits with our values. So if that means that everyone coming back from the border needs to be asked a few extra questions, then it should happen to everyone.